is going on in here? You may kiss the bride! What's up guys, it's me again, and today we're going to create a pixel art Spongebob. You used me? Okay, so let's start drawing some pixels. Uh, this should be fairly easy to make, uh, you know, Spongebob, it's, it's, a, it's a square. Uh, we just need to make a square with a few colors and details. Uh, I hope that won't be too hard. Uh, who knows? Uh, so I will add you uh, a, a new layer. Uh, let's call it SpongeBob. Cool. And choose this yellow color. Something like that. And I'll start by drawing a fairly large uh, square. Okay, and uh, now uh, let's make some shadow on the other side, because in our scene the light will come from here, and that's what we do on the other side. Alright, I already see we need to make him a little bit taller, because we'll not be able to fit all the features inside his face. All right, cool. Uh, and this is our square. So uh, next thing, we will just uh, continue with different colors. So we make a shirt. Just make sure you choose a white color, not completely white, because uh, I think that's quite boring. Uh, with a little bit of shade here, blue, I think, will gonna work. Okay, that's fine. Let's make some shadow. And his pants. His pants are brown. Let's make another square here, and obviously the shadow. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. That's fine. Uh, now I'll continue with his face. Um, I will draw like a shadow before drawing the eyes because you know if you draw right now, you, know, you see, uh, it, they're not really visible. So. One thing I'm going to do, actually, I will leave them like this for now and we'll draw the shadow here. So we can actually bring the eyes a little bit forward. Draw something like this. I think that's fine. And uh, so next thing I'm going to do is eyelashes. I think this is really iconic of Spongebob. So just do a few pixels here. Uh, yeah, something like this. I think we need to make this larger, actually. Okay, that's gonna be fine. Uh, also, he has uh, kind of a little bit of pink, um, you know, under the eyes. So maybe something like this will gonna work. Cool. Uh, we can adjust colors later, but you know, just to put some pixels there. He has blue eyes, so let's start drawing that. Okay. Um, I think everything is a bit too large. Let me try to make things a little bit smaller. Okay. Sorry about that, but I don't want to make it too large. Okay, I think that's gonna work better. Cool. Uh, let's bring back those pink lines we had before. Okay, I think I like this way way better now. Um, a little bit up this part okay and continue with the nose so I will 
make the nose by doing its shadow, you know, by just drawing some shadow there. I think that's okay. And we can start drawing his mouth. Okay, something like this. I think it's fine. Maybe the nose should go a little bit to this side. Yeah. I think that's alright. Uh, and I need another... Oh, maybe I can pick this brown. So just to define a little bit better the nose. And we can smoothen a little bit of the mouth as well. Maybe something like this. Yeah, I think that works. Nah, let's remove the pixel. Okay. And now we need to make uh, his teeth. That's another uh, iconic thing from uh, Spongebob. So just like that, I add some shadow to, you know, to make those teeth a bit more visible. Same, same way we did with the, uh, with the eyes. Okay, I think I'm quite happy with that. Maybe like this. I don't know, what do you say? That's fine. And I would add a little bit of shadow to the eyes and to the teeth as well, just to not make them look that flat. Just, you know, choose something like this. This, also, this will already make them look a little bit more uh, kind of 3D. Okay. I think that works. Uh, we can bring, uh, bring his body a little bit up. I think I like that. Uh, another detail we can add a little, uh, some like holes here, you know, it's a sponge, so not too much, not too many, uh, but you know, this will work. Uh, next thing, uh, I don't know, let's start by drawing the arms, maybe. Okay. Something like that. Has really skinny arms. We need to make some light here, some here, so it will look kind of alright. Cool. And let's make the other arm here because you would actually see it uh, if it was real. Something like that. It'll work. Yeah. Yeah, something like this. Okay. And now. He has a red tie, as far as I remember. We can draw that immediately here. Let's put some shadow. Okay, that's okay. And let's continue with the legs. Okay. Uh, those are kind of his square pants, shorts, or whatever. Then he has legs with some white socks. Again, as far as I remember, that's how it is. Let's put some shadow. Pretty simple. Nothing crazy there. And let's start drawing his feet. Okay. This feet is kind of turned to, uh, to the camera, and this one is a little bit on the side. That's why they have different shapes. I will just add some kind of light here, so we know which way it's turned. And that looks okay. Uh, and last thing I want to add is his hat. The one he uses when he works in So I'll just pick this white color. Okay, I need to move it a little bit to the back. Something like that. Okay. Um, make some shot here. Cool. I can pick. Oops. I can pick this color. Nice. 
this and we need an, a new color, something like grey or something. Grey and blue, something in the middle. Like that. Okay. And a dark version of it. Alright, I think that looks okay. Uh, I don't know, what do you think, guys? Uh, so it's a nice base, you know, there are many details we can change, we can add, we can work a little bit on, on the colors and stuff, uh, but I think, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's recognizable, you know, this is Spongebob and it looks quite nice and enjoyable. So uh, thanks for watching, uh, if you did like this uh, tutorial, please, please subscribe and, uh, you know, follow me on Twitter, uh, join my Discord channel, uh, all the links are in the description below. And see you next time for another video. Thanks for watching. Okay, see you tomorrow.